Where's the pitcher of water that we fill the altar bowls from? Got a smaller pitcher? Only because I'm clumsy, a little. How about the candy into the teapot and the smaller teapot? Yes, please. That would work better for me. This is just because I'm an old lady and my hand sometimes shakes. You yourself can use a giant vat if it works for you. There we go. So you always hold this with two hands when you're doing this. Okay, hold this for me for just a minute so I can do some pointing. So you make your first offering left to right. It's the back row. Agam, water to drink, padam, water to wash, pupe, flowers, dupe, incense, aluke, light, gande, massage, perfume, uh, new day, food, shepta, music. Then you go back right to left in the front row, which is the offering to you. So on the deity's side, you've made the offering to the deity. Now here, these little bowls, the deity's offering back to you. And yes, the little bowls are appropriate now that I got this set up right. Agam, water to wash, uh, water to drink. Padam, water to wash. Pupe, flowers. Dupe, incense. Aluke, flame. New day, perfume, massage oil. Sorry, Gande, perfume, massage oil. New Day Food, Shepta Music. Usually in the music you have a little cymbals, a tiny little Christmas jingle bell. There's all sorts of things you can put there. Then, so what you have done is you set all these up with just pouring a little bit from each one all the way across. Now you're going to top them off. Now, you can tell how good somebody's focus is in the moment by how much they ripple the water. <laughs> so it's good to see how you're doing that day, but you see how full I'm getting them. As full as can be without going over. You see the order I'm going in. While I'm doing this, I'm visualizing offering goddesses coming out of my heart. Beautiful young men and women. You know, guys with their shirts off, all muscular and oiled. You know, beauty. Yeah, dakas and dakinis coming out of my heart, carrying. So when I'm offering this one to the deities, they're carry carrying a whole bunch of beautiful drinks, you know, with ice cubes and, you know, maybe a little umbrella, garnish, some. <laughs> For this one, they're carrying big jugs of steaming bath water. For this, they're carrying flowers and strewing petals. Get enthusiastic, it's a visualization. It can be anything you want. For the incense, they're wafting clouds of beautiful smell. For the light, they're all ca carrying candelabras and flames. For the massage, they've all got a little towel over their arm and some massage oil. And they're <laughs> offering a beautiful, fine massage sensuously. Food. Imagine banquets of everything you like offered. Music, an orchestra a jazz band, thousands of them. Then you do it again coming back, but they're coming from Tara's heart and giving you all that. Same way, water to drink, lovely beverages, crystal goblets, water to wash. They're pouring these wonderful, perfect temperature jugs of water over your body and washing you beautifully. They have big fluffy towels and spa robes. You don't want to 
wants to set Tara on fire. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> she can lean. So you see how you do that. It's all coming out, offering goddesses from your heart, offering to the deity first, and then from her back to you. Why is her offering in little bowls? Why is it shocking you? We have a very small altar, and that's what we could find. Oh, okay. And, and you you can use big own. bowls. They can be equal. Okay. But it's what you have and what fits on your altar. Other questions? No. no, only the bowls that have water. Only the bowls that have water, I mean, and I would have poured water in the flower bowl okay. and added flowers when I came to that. And I would have had rice at the bottom of the food and music bowl, or at the food bowl, and put fresh food when I came to that. I'd have my stuff here. And I'd probably leave the music bowl as it was. I wouldn't change that out every day and then in the evening I'd put out the flowers and the food as long as well as all the water for life to eat and enjoy and I put fresh ones the next day if you don't have flowers you can use a dried seed pod to stand in for flowers there's little if you have a sponsee in India they've been sending you these little papery looking seeds those are our fake flowers to use in winter to put on our altar. We use those instead of flowers when there's no fresh flowers available. What about using like a, a silk flower? I see yes, that in some, you can do that. Many altars. Tibetans do. Okay. Old style, they didn't have that, so they use these little seeds, which everybody has. They grow in a bean as, that's shaped like a cow's tongue and as long as your arm. And I usually get a few in season. Shall I bring some back to you next year? Yes. Sure. Although those of you who are sponsoring someone, they probably sent you in an envelope because it's an easy gift to send. It's like sending flower petals. Melinda, quick question. What about this offering down there? Uh, how often and in what circumstances? In this, you would do when you're doing a talk mm -hmm. or a full ceremony with offering. When you're going to do a ceremony, it doesn't have to be an empowerment. But when you're doing full sadhana, you'd offer a bit like this. And what, uh, at what point in the sadhana to put it there when we do the... Uh, when we start doing the mudras and going agam pa dam pupe, you would also uh, set this here. Mm -hmm. And what if the sadhana doesn't have it? Um, then you don't need it. Oh, okay. Other questions on the altar? <laughs>